Hello, hello, hello. Turn to this quilt. It's a tick cold. I've just shut the window lock. I never opened that window. Fucking plant gets bigger and bigger. I don't know what to do with it. Need repotting. But it's not the time of the year for repotting, is it? I don't know. I just know that's a prayer plant. I don't know what the proper name is. Because as I've said, I can't tell a fucking plant weed from a plant. Yeah, so it's a miserable day, although it looks bright through the viewfinder. There's that lovely weeping willows over there. Where's the zoom? Yeah, aren't they lovely? I don't know what they're doing with the office block. God knows, they're supposed to be turning it into luxury flats. What wonderful view they're going to get out of the window. The front end of Walton Court. <laughs> they should have pulled it down. They was talk about pulling it down. They were talk about taking them traffic lights out and making it, putting an island in, a road island. But lots of talk, what they're going to do, they never do anything. Anyway, I should be in a jolly mood, but it's nearly Christmas. Isn't it? Oh, the herald angels sing. Of course, I do like that in what? Uh, what's that in that I like? Uh, can't think. I think dementia is definitely setting in, you know. Need to blow it away from me, keep it warm. I'll think of him in a minute. Never going to try to play any music. I know what YouTube will like. Come back to David Philp in a bit. Uh, yeah, so Christmas, you know. A certain person will go through all the Christmas carols again. Everyone. Oh my God. I'm sorry to be in misery. Well, I'm knocking on. I'm 78 next year. I don't need bleeding Christmas carols. Except the one I like, which I can't think of. Not Rock of Ages. Oh, it is Rock of Ages. I like the tune Rock of Ages, clap for me, let me hide myself in thee. Not the other one, the American version. Rock of Ages, clap for me. No, I don't like that one. I like the other one. I've just sung. Uh, yeah. Uh, Donald Trump, why don't they give him a chance? They're saying that he's not experienced. Well, what about the B-movie actor, Ronald Reagan? Eh? What about George Bush II? Cool. Eh? With his puppet, Blair, Tony Blair, hanging onto his coattails. No, give Donald a chance. Somebody said he's a racist. He said the immigrants should be monitored. The flood, the immigrants flooding into Europe and America should be monitored. But if that makes him a racist, well, I am as well. They've got to be monitored. But certain person in Ireland, what's his name? Keeps changing his name, Mr. Carley. God. He certainly ain't people know in no uncertain terms what he thinks of Donald Trump. Well, I'll say he's belt up, Carly. Give the man a chance. Oh, shades and that. What was it? Where is it? Uh,
clear off Phil, I'll come back to you in a bit. Uh, I know what YouTube's going to say, and it's my own upload. Where is that? Try in a minute, there we are. Garth Edmondson. Play the organ for St. Bartholomew's Church Armory in Leeds. The famous Schultz organ is a wonderful concert organist, plays from memory. And this is a great piece. Let me turn the bass up. It comes in a bit. I could turn the volume up. I used to play it in the truck. And the drivers used to say, Who heard that crap that Arthur listens to? While they were listening to Radio 1 and Country and Western. Yeehaw! Blinkety plonk. I'll move this on a bit. Because at the end, the excellent organist, Graham Barker, blasts this organ. Move it on. Here we go. Neighbours in next door, sorry darling. We should go away tomorrow for the weekend. But the sister up there is on her last legs. Yeah. The incompetent doctors have wrote her off twice. Told a close family, although I'm her brother, but me and her have never got on. But they told her close family that she wouldn't last the night. And they all gathered around the bed to say the final goodbyes. Next morning she was drinking a cup of tea. But a lot of the doctors coming in the country now, they're not trained properly. And they don't know what the bloody hell they're talking about. It's right, you know. Yeah. Right, I can't eat eighty new raspberries. Dutch raspberries. And they're lovely. They're just on the verge of going off. Oh yeah, they are. Most important, I've been buying potatoes from our fruit and veg shop over the road. Um, I said to the lady, uh, the potatoes keep going to seed. But I saw this tip on the internet, I keep the potatoes in a 
cupboard door cool cupboard i cut a galler apple in half and chucked both halves in there they've been in there nearly a fortnight these potatoes haven't gone to seed because as the apple goes rotten the odor it gives off stops potatoes going to seed right the video's gone on for long enough catch you all later shall say happy christmas Fucking Christmas of a glad when it's over. <laughs> Bye.